Hi, this is Ellen Kim with Hollywood.com at the Man Village Westwood in Los Angeles. We're here for the premiere of Lara Croft Tomb Raider. And with the maddening crowd today, we can tell that Hollywood has a new action heroine and her name is Angelina Jolie. Tomb Raider, it's like big summertime movie action flick. When I found out Angelina Jolie was the lead, I was like, that's it. You've Sounds seen great. It? No, first time today. All right. Nelly, if you were going to do a duet with somebody, who would that be? Ooh, I've done, I'm doing something with Paulo Confold this week. I'm, I'm going to be doing something with Finley Quay. That's a dream come true. Um, Noel Gallagher. I don't know. This Missy thing was a dream come true for me. That's so, true. Yeah. More hip hop, I think. Yeah. What are you most excited about about Tomb Raider? Seeing a woman put in the place of an action hero. Men don't know how precious women are, or how powerful they are, and it's about time we started seeing it. Yeah. And Angelie's perfect candidate for that. Are you surprised we haven't had more of this before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, eyes have to be open, ears have to be open, hearts have to be open to see what we're dealing with and what an incredible horizon we have for this. Now tell me about your contribution to this movie soundtrack. Um, the song I did for this film is called The Revolution Will Be Televised, okay. and it's a song that I wrote for my fourth album that um, I've been working on on and off in between movies that I've been scoring. Um, and uh, it just seemed really appropriate for this film. So it was cool. So I, watched, I watched the scenes from the movie and you know, put, it to, put it to picture. It was a lot of fun. Have you seen the whole thing? I haven't. I've seen two scenes, and the scenes are so kick-ass. It's not even funny. So good. Incredible wire tricks in this movie. Unbelievable stuff. I know that uh, you turned the movie down a couple of times to do it. Are you now glad that now that it's over and you've got this, that you did actually say yes to it? I am very glad. Um, a lot of days I didn't think like that when I was making it, but... Um, Every day was another challenge and it got sort of more exciting as it went on and um, so it's very rewarding. I, you know, we all worked really hard on the film, especially Angelina, and to have this kind of response is, is like great payback because uh, it all feels worthwhile now and we didn't do it for nothing. Now I know she got a lot of injuries but she didn't tell you about them. Do you now feel bad that... I do feel bad now. <laughs> At the time I was just being a ruthless film director and trying to make the best action scenes in the best film. but. Um, she, uh, she kept it very quiet and uh, didn't tell me about all the injuries. Now she tells me all the time about the permanent <laughs> scars she's got and uh, needles me about it, but uh, I think she likes them. <laughs> you send a lot of people to try to, you know, stop Lara Croft. Yeah. Did you like kind of bossing them around? And, you know, you didn't have to really go in and battle her too much, except for maybe at the end. Exactly, exactly. Well, that's the way he likes He doesn't, he doesn't want to get his suit dirty <laughs> with blood, you know what I mean? You know, get other people to do all the mucky, dirty work. Um, no, it's nice when you've got a mini army. What's the point in hurting your fists? Do you think something could have happened between them if they weren't, you know? You know, I like to think it could have. Yeah, <laughs> I think I like to think it could have. Just because um, I think there's a sort of mutual um, respect that's born out of uh, recognizing a worthy adversary, you know. And I think that sort of that causes the attraction. I think she looks at Manfred Pal and thinks, well, this is an opponent worth taking on. Taking on going up against rivaling with Lara Croft yeah, here. Yeah, well, I guess who wins? <laughs> <laughs> not that easy, not that hard to guess. No. Did you have to go through the same kind of training? I, I didn't go get involved quite as much as um, as Angelina did. She went and did some serious training. I just I just tried to ca catch up, keep up. <laughs> what was the biggest challenges in this movie? I don't know. There were any really. It was just we just to get it right. I mean, there's long hours, all the things that you do when you when you're working hard on a film. But we um. The physicality, I just get a big kick out. Of, you know, doing the stunt stuff is really a bit, you know, we had a great stunt crew with us, so, you know, we had a ball doing that. You just suffer any major battle wounds? Have I got any major battle wounds? Not from, not from this film. <laughs> no, I, we got battered and bruised a bit. Angie got really battered and bruised, but she, she stormed off. What do you think about this whole show here? What to hit? Oh, just nuts. Absolutely nuts. Really. I'm just, I'm slightly blown away. Does, does people blown. recognize you here in, uh, in Hollywood? I don't think so, not really, no. <laughs> they That's will fine. after. Do you think so? All right, fine. Oh, good. I look forward to that. Afterwards, they throw panties after you. Oh, really? Okay, I can't, I can't wait. Where's that clean? I'll never know. Thank you. Right here. The support. Some amazing people.
people supporting you, and, and uh, it's it, because it's fun. And I, I haven't done a lot of things. Um, or be, I've always been very caged, and I have never really done something completely free and let out, of, which kind of encourages a certain kind of freedom in others and insanity. Tell us about 